In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a Live 2D model inside of VTube Studio. So first thing, you need of course a model. When you're finished creating your model or downloading it, you can choose export for runtime, choose a Live 2D version you want to export it for, choose any version from that list, they all work, and choose a texture size. For mobile, you might want to choose a smaller texture like 124 but we'll keep it like this for now. Now choose a place where you want to save it, for example in your desktop, and just export it. You can of course also export a couple animations if you want to use idle animations. And that's it, you're ready to import it now. So first I'll show you how to do it on Android. Open your Android device, go to your phone, folder Android, data, com denchi vtube studio files and in there you'll find the backgrounds and the live 2d models folder take your model and just copy it in there and you're good to go now your live 2d model is in the app and you can just fire the app up and load your model so let's take a look at that After the app has finished starting, you can now click on the little icon for the model chooser. And your new model should show up here. It's the one without the icon because we haven't set an icon for that model yet. Just click it and the live 2D model should load. There it is. Um, if you want to automatically set it up, just choose auto setup. We'll do it for Android since this is an Android device and this will create 20 new parameters and already, already you can see the face tracking is working. Uh, I can show my face right here. Uh, the first thing you do is click the little face box to calibrate it. And there you go, the face tracking is already working well. Now you can see she has four arms uh, because we haven't set an idle animation yet. And we'll do that in a moment, but for now you can see it's, it's working fine. And um, the model is imported and you can now use it inside the app. So let's choose an icon. The icon is chosen from the same folder as the model and select an idle animation. It should also be in the same folder. Just choose any. And that's it. The model has already been automatically set up. I will create a separate video to go over how to manually set up a model if you want to do that. But that is everything you need to know about model setup on Android. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the same for iPhone. On your Windows PC or Mac, go to iTunes, click that little icon and go to file sharing. VTube Studio should show up here. And you can just choose the Live 3D Models folder and say save. And then just choose any folder where you want to save them. Now, if you're on Mac OS Catalina, you can also directly access your iPhone over Finder but for now we'll do it using iTunes. So just save it somewhere and this will export all models in the model folder to your desktop. And then what we can do is we can open that folder and put our new Live 2D model folder in there. And all we need to do now is take that folder and drag it back onto our iPhone, say replace, and that's it. Wait until it has finished copying and your model is now inside VTube Studio on your iPhone. I'm not even going to show this, um, it works exactly like on Android. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the same on Windows. Just open the, the folder, go to VTube Studio Data, Streaming Assets, Live 2D Models, and copy your model in there. And that's it, it's super easy. You can now start the application and just like on Android or iOS, it will start up with the same interface and you can import your model 
and to do exactly the same thing that you would do on Android. So this time let's try setting it up for iPhone and um, I will try using my iPhone to stream face tracking data directly to that model. But first we'll choose an icon again, we'll choose an idle animation again and you can see the idle animation is being played because we don't have face tracking connected yet. I can just say start server here, take the IP and the port that I've selected and put that into the iPhone app. And I'm doing that right now, just give me a second. I'll make a separate video explaining how that works exactly, but it's connected now, running at 60 frames per second. And as you can see, the tracking on iOS is much better than the tracking on Android. It is really accurate. You can track eyes, uh, opening and closing, looking left and right. It is really super accurate. It's a lot of fun to play around with. And you can really, I think, get the most out of your character if you use the iOS app. Finally, I will show you how to do the same thing on macOS. Right click the app, say show package contents, go to resources, data, streaming assets, and there you will find the live 2D models folder. And as on the other platforms, just copy in your model and that's it. You can now start the app. Say allow. And that's it. We can now use our model on macOS. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, it's super simple. You can just copy your models in and that's it. Setup is completely automatic. Finally, I'm doing a beta right now for iOS, Android, macOS and Windows. So if you are a live 2D virtual YouTuber and you're interested in the app, I would be happy to have you join the beta. So just let me know. I put a couple links in the description and I hope to see you there.